Hello Gemini, these are your tarot cards for July of 2023. I'm Danielle Stimson of Learn Reiki Philadelphia, and if you enjoy all things tarot, reiki, and crystals, I definitely hit that subscribe button because this is absolutely the place for you. I highly recommend that you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos if you happen to know all three. And uh, without any further ado, let's dive into your cards. Okay, so Gemini, this month, there's quite a bit um, of difference in this reading than the other signs that I've read for so far. There are definitely some big themes that are showing up for everyone across the board. This uh, reading has been, for you specifically, has been a lot more spiritual and a lot more personal. So keeping that in mind, we'll, we'll move through. So Focus of the month is the Hierophant, and way back in the day, this was called the Pope card. It's now seen as more like a spiritual advisor, could literally be a Pope or a Reverend or something along those lines. Someone who is, on one hand, steeped in the traditions and the reasons for those traditions and the history of those traditions and the stories, and how to, uh, someone who's trusted to apply them to today's scenarios and someone who's leaned upon for advice. And this month is definitely the old history and the old stories. And then on the other side, how to apply them to today. That's definitely the dichotomy that you're dealing with this month. What's the energy you're bringing with you out of June and into July? King of Coins. King of Coins is a very He's a very magnanimous leader. He definitely leads with the heart. At the same time, he also relies on a lot of tradition. He is someone who's slow to change. He's someone who says, you know, if it's if it's not broke, don't fix it, leave it be. He'll only kind of tweak things if they require it or if someone shows a need. It's sort of a, okay, this is actively not helping this individual or even causing some kind of pain. Okay, let's let's shift it, let's move it, let's let's make it work for everyone. But unless something needs to be shifted and that has become clear, he's not going to change anything. So what is the challenge of this month? Page of Cups. Now, out of all of the pages, which is like the childlike energy, out of all the pages, the Page of Cups is a little bit, he's the most perplexed at what all is going on. Showing up in the challenge position I actually get a really strong intuitive hit on how this shows up even more than the traditional card reading. There's a little bit of emotional pain here. And there's also a lack of understanding of emotional nuance and a lack of understanding of the emotional wounds that are underlying something. The challenges are that there's a there's some places emotionally where you will be acting and even more importantly, reacting out of a place of emotion that you that stems from a wound that you may not even realize you have, or if you do realize you have, is showing up in a way you've not noticed it before. So this is definitely, uh, it, it also likely because it's Paige, I would say these kinds of emotional issues could be rooted in childhood. So this could be childhood traumas bubbling up and showing their you know, kind of like a showing their face in a place that you don't expect so that's the challenge is that there's an emotional need that has not been met at some time and that's coming up again what's the best path forward is the king of swords now remember that king of pentacles he definitely is leading more with his heart but he relies on tradition. He's not going to change things unless there's a reason shown to create some kind of change. King of Swords is a little bit different. Well, a lot bit different. This is logic and the sharpness of logic. And it can even be a bit, a bit spiky, a bit sharp. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Sometimes we have to pull back from what we're experiencing and how we're acting and reacting and take almost a uh, I don't want to say cold or dispassionate, but in a way, remove ourselves from that emotional charge and see things with a good amount of perspective, seeing things from a standpoint of not so much like how, how you sense it to feel, but taking a look at it as an outside observer, someone outside looking in. 
this can also indicate asking, you know, reaching outward to get perspective, whether that's someone you know and trust, an advisor of your own, a therapist, whatever feels right to you. This can be harsh truths, like the best path forward is when you realize something or when something's pointing out, pointed out to you emotionally. Of course, there's that initial knee jerk, no, not me, but this is basically saying like, I think I need a moment to process that. Can I get back to you? Do that because there's definitely something in what seems so harsh in that it feels very harsh because it's hitting you right in the heart of the feels. So there's definitely a lot of tenderness, but there's a, a huge opportunity for healing for you in all of this. Uh, the next card is the whispers from your guides and it's exactly what it sounds like and they've given the five of coins the five of coins is usually seen as a, a not great card it's actually showing up very differently for you this is your guides giving you an idea of what this underlying wound is so this isn't something that's going to happen to you this is something that or like something you're going to have to transition through this is basically saying maybe this will shed some light on that page of cups and it's the the five of coins is usually feeling left out in the cold and literally you see this is outside of a think of a middle ages church it's snowing it's freezing and here she is out here with her child and it's just like rejected by society and not having a community to support not having loved ones to support there's a you could say something along the lines of abandonment or shunning or anything like that or feelings of those things. The other thing that this card can show is uh, times where you felt that you were under supported and oftentimes because we're talking about that page of uh, of cups, we're talking about childhood stuff, anytime that you felt left out in the cold, anytime that you felt rejected from society, anything that you might be going along with because there's this, there's been an internalized understanding of I have to do this because that's part of the, the societal construct and I won't be accepted if I don't. This is a month where looking back at your most painful times when you felt the most out in the cold, that's probably part of the wounds that are at the root of this. So this isn't to say that this is going to be the worst month ever. It's absolutely not. This is a month for you to, uh, where some of your emotional patterns might be brought to your attention and that's so that they can be addressed and healed. It's absolutely okay to need help with that. It's, this is going to be okay, but this is an opportunity for you to, to say, wow, that actually had a bigger impact on me than I thought it did. Let me see how I can support that. One of the other ways that that page of cups and the challenge can show up in readings when I've done them for other folks is a need to do inner child work, which is basically to kind of heal that piece of you that you still hold on to that was, that feels um, injured or scared. So this is a month for identifying some emotional tender spots and actually making some changes in your life to help accommodate those soft spots for you and to help you heal and feel more whole. So this is an opportunity for you to get some support that is long overdue so that you can lead your life uh, in a much easier way. The Hierophant, by the way, is a major arcana card. So that's that carries a lot of weight. And this ultimately, as you go through this transition, you will have the opportunity to learn and then you'll have that that wisdom to offer others as well so yes there's going to be some emotionally trying times and it's not going to be like when it was initially this is an opportunity for you to make it better and to actually get some healing so with that gemini it's an honor and a privilege to bring this message through for you this month if you would uh like to learn more about me, my live online Reiki classes, or schedule a one-on-one -on -one reading or distance healing session, visit learnreikiphiladelphia.com or check out the links in the description. And if you do need some support in healing this month, I do lead a healing live stream five times a week right here on YouTube. If you subscribe with your notifications on, you'll absolutely know when I'm going live. And I would love to give you a little bit of support along the way. So Gemini, 
all the best to you this month. You absolutely got this and you absolutely deserve all of the healing and all of the support that you can get. So take care of yourself. I hope to see you again in August. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and bye for now.